Welcome, ladies and gents, to me, IRL. Doctor at my checkup asked me if I had any feelings of depression or anxiety, and I said, don't we all? And she said, no, lol. Starting off strong, okay. I told my eight-year-old son I would give him $10 per hour to do some weeding. He said, if I can find someone to do it for $5 an hour, can I keep the other $5? I don't know whether to be proud or nervous. Okay, your kid is an entrepreneur. Your kid is a genius. He's a Jimmy Neutron, baby. Dudes will know each other for a decade and not have one photo together. All right, why is this? This is relatable. Listen, I can explain, dudes. You, you, we like to spend time together. That's it. We're not on our phones wasting the moment, or also we just forget to take photos. Five years today, I quit my job at Applebee's to do comedy. Today, I just started working at that exact same Applebee's. <laughs> really didn't work out for me. Ah, oh, Kristen. Listen, you were just taking a five-year vacation. Come on. And you know, at least you followed your dreams. Okay, maybe you'll pick up comedy sometime else or maybe you learned that you're just not funny <laughs> me irl okay five star oh yeah dude 100 percent relatable so we got five stars but there's only 19 reviews and 4.6 stars but there's 2,000 reviews and it makes sense okay because if more people reviewed the product then it's more likely to be good and it's still maintaining a pretty high star ratio professor pegasus just validating your inner thoughts here you know damn some girl just fell down the stairs in my complex and i went to check on her and all she said was was, no, I deserve this. Oh my god. You know, I actually think like this all the time. Like, if something bad happens to me, I'm just like, alright, I, I must have done something bad. Like, for some reason, I just think everything is karma, but it actually makes no sense, bro. It's all it's all RNG. Quiet, laid-back men. Why do you go for loud, fiery women? Someone gotta tell the waiter I ordered mashed potatoes and it ain't gonna feed me. I hate how I'm, uh, I have an appointment at 4pm so I can't do anything all day type of person. Relatable as heck, bro. Dude, I swear to god, I thought is the only one like I have severe anxiety when it comes to like any sort of time commitment like I have a class at 2 p.m. well I, I, I guess I can't do anything till 2 p.m. better skip breakfast better get ready five hours before I actually despise this this is why I never hang out with everybody if it isn't the bridge I said I'd cross when I came to it <laughs> XD starting a new job after first week I have no idea what I'm doing after first year, they have no idea what they're doing. Okay, this looks like a 14 and deep subreddit post, but it's also kind of true. Gen Z girls can dress like 1998 all they want, but they'll never know the joy of your parents having literally no way to get a hold of you until you come home. Very relatable post. I was definitely present in 1998. Guy with only PS4 and mattress on the floor who doesn't leave his apartment probably has the lowest carbon footprint, but no one wants to talk about that. I'm not sure about that. PS4 and mattress, that's an equation to fart quite a bit, and that's uh, a, a large carbon footprint if I do say so myself. I'm not a former gifted student. I'm still gifted. Put me in a fourth grade class and I'm lying them like I did the first time. Relatable. Dude, I swear to god, everything was so easy back then. Nobody tried and you could just wipe out everybody. Like, I was just the smartest without even trying, man. Now we got these bozos studying 16 hours a day. Like, how do you even compete with that, man? Okay, when I was 11, I was getting bullied by this girl and my mom let me know she heard her parents were getting divorced and to tell her that neither of them wanted her, and which I did and it worked, but like, Mom, oh my god, I mean, I guess she's just protecting the child, but also, you, you've just decimated this kid. That's what you get, kid. Don't bully people. A child, what's that? Me holding an Oreo milkshake. It's spicy. You won't like it. That's right, you stupid child. This delicious delight will only be mine. Your puny brain cannot even comprehend. This is actually the ghost pepper. Me reaching the end of the page, but realizing I was daydreaming and didn't actually read it. Have you ever been chilling, minding your own business, and realize your jaw has been tightly clenched for the last 15 years? True, and my shoulders are always tense and like somebody points it out I'm like R relax your shoulder and I'm like oh dude okay like I just have this default position that just takes up more energy man after a couple slices of pizza my three-year-old bursts into tears and says my mouth wants more but my tummy doesn't I've never related to anything more you should do the only logical thing chew up a pizza and then spit it out I think that's the most cursed thing I've ever said <laughs> all right a couple asked me if I'd give
give up my window seat on the plane so they could sit together. I'm sorry, but your love is not as important as me seeing the airplane take off. Solomon, you evil, evil man. You know, I can actually say I grew from this, okay? Back in the day, I would never give my window seat, but now I realize it's overrated as hell, bro. Half the time, you just see clouds and you can't see anything anyways. The true way to spend an airplane ride is to bring your phone, iPad, Nintendo Switch, just play it on the plane, either sleep or watch the movies available. Also, your love life can eat my b Do beavers even know what they're doing, or do they just see water flowing down a river and think, absolutely not. I miss how Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network only aired commercials aimed at kids. I wish there was an option like that on Hulu and YouTube. Like, please no more insurance or antidepressants. Please only show me the latest in super soaker technology. Alright, 90 minute movie. Nope. Three and a half hour video essay about a video game I've never heard of. Dude, every post is so relatable. I love this. This is me like, bro, I'm not gonna watch a movie. It's too long. Five hours of YouTube videos later. When I die, I give everyone permission to use my death for personal gain. Even if you barely know me. When I kick it, even if we've hardly ever talked, you go and tell your boss a good friend died and take a day off for you. That's what that one's on me. Okay, what an absolute legend. Suddenly, my best friend is Cam Sullivan. So did anyone else go through a phase as a kid where you were genuinely concerned about the Bermuda Triangle? Six-year-old me was like, bro, why are we not solving this problem? True. Dude, it's because all the shows had it. I remember Jimmy Neutron. There was like this epic Bermuda Triangle episode and it was insane. It was so scary, bro. There was like this guy who fed you gunk and you transformed into this green monster. It was insane. I don't work in IT, but I'm the youngest person in the office, so I basically work in IT. Me two minutes after my phone dies, judging other people for for being on their phones all the time. Yeah, we kind of have a problem, man. <laughs> when you ask how a white person is doing and they say, live in the dream, that's code for every morning I wake up wishing I was dead. Trying to find nice loafers and my girlfriend laughed at me for checking Reddit, saying that the guys there wouldn't know. Now on an 800 post thread where dudes are berating each other about leather quality. They know so much about loafers it ruined their life. I'm on the right side. Bro, Reddit knows everything about everything, even if they don't. Oh my god. Yes, I'm vegan. Yes, I eat meat. We exist. Okay, this is literally every single meat eater who tries to go vegan for the first time. Like, yeah, I'm definitely vegan. I only have chicken nuggets on Tuesdays. I don't think that's how it works, okay? Me writing an email. I'm using an exclamation point so you know I'm friendly and excited. But now I'm using a period so that you know I'm not crazy. Here's another sentence with a period as a buffer. Proving my normalness. Thanks so much. Okay. I don't even blame you for this because English teachers are so insane about this and it makes no sense, okay? As a person who emails with sponsors regularly, nobody cares about your damn punctuation or whatever, okay? Y'all wanna talk about generational divides? I don't know anyone under 40 who separates laundry into lights and dark. Me, as soon as I get anywhere. Damn, I kinda wanna leave and me wanna get to school. Daft Punk not doing their job for eight years and then announcing they quit is <laughs> aspirational. I freaking hate grocery store checkout screens asking me if I want to donate $20 to end child hunger or whatever. You're a $10 billion corporation. I'm using a coupon to get 50 cents off a bag of potatoes. My god. Why don't you donate $20 to end child hunger? Exactly. Stop guilt tripping me. You're the billion dollar rich mofo. You, you donate a cent, bro.